ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between i'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what oh this somebody else's hair and my hair at the same time and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 my head is the straight v part wig and it is 24 inches long and I'll leave the density down below but it's more of a natural density as you can see so we can go ahead and pop the hood on this wig this V part wig features five clipping combs and three sliding combs and adjustable straps in the back now how we usually wear a V part wig how a lot of people do you can wear V part wigs in multiple ways some people say you can wear it with no leave out I don't but some people say you can wear it with no leave out and you also can wear it the way I do which is a little bit on the top none on the sides I'm just giving baby hairs I'm giving illusion tees okay this is a mirage the great thing about V part wigs is that they're very temporary but one thing that I've learned about V part wigs for me is that V part wigs like to slip and slide around my head like a summertime I do have a new method today that I tried that I absolutely love. I did try a new method with applying this wig to keep the wig, the cones from sliding down my head, creating a mullet. I'm not sure if this method is healthy for your hair girl. I'm not the girl for health. I'm not the healthy hair girl. I'm the easy hair girl. So if you want to see how I applied this wig with illusion edges and baby hairs, please keep on watching. And I'll be back with my final thoughts on this hair. Uh, what do you call this? I'm going to use a Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protector. I'm just going to spray down the hair a little bit because we need to straighten it just a little bit. Okay, see so these ends are real pointy. I don't like that. I think I want to go a little bit more blunt. Let's see, this is how it looks. Let me see if I can just do a little trim. You see that? So I'm just going to use my Annie shears and I'm just going to trim some off the bottom. Oh, that's so much better. Is that even though? I don't know. So let's go ahead and just straighten the hair just a little bit. I just want the bone straight sort of look. So I'm just going to straighten the hair a little bit. Then we're going to straighten our hair, girl, and we'll be done. This is perfect for summer. I'm going to use, I'm going to do big sections because I can't be bothered, honey. So I'm going to use my, uh, what do you call this? This is my T3i Smart Iron. And I'm just going to flat iron the hair. I'm not even going to do the chase method. I'm just going to just get rid of them processed bumps. Girl, that's too much hair. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm still going though. I need to take a smaller section. I'm fooling around. I'm going to quit playing. Ah, ah, it's hot. Okay. Okay, so let's keep going, straightening the hair until we get to the top. But I'm doing big sections. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, so the hair has been straightened and it is like, look at that. Ooh, 
And this looks really pretty. It's like so silky. Y'all know I'm not really a silky hair girl, but I've been wanting to do like that bone straight sew-in sort of look since the girls are doing sew-ins and natural hair stuff these days. I have to protect my natural hair because my hair is feeble. It's weak, it's weary. And we're gonna try and blend this hair in seamlessly. But first I need to use some heat protectant. I'm going to use this hair straightening hair polisher. A little bit goes a long way. Like I, I just did too much. I'm gonna rub it in my hands. And then I'm just gonna add it to the hair. So I'm gonna take my flat iron and I'm just gonna slowly straighten. Okay. It's gonna blend. I don't go all the way up to the roots because I've already pre-straightened my roots. Y'all, this is so pretty. Now that the hair is straightened, all we need to do is add a little wax stick just to make sure the hair don't get to flying and floating away. When your hair hasn't been trained, it starts to be real, real erratic and do her own thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the ZLA Hairline Master wax stick. Put a little bit on the hand and I'm just gonna rub it into the hair. I could have left a little bit more hair out, but I didn't, so. Girl, that is it. My hair is much thinner in the front. I should have left a little bit more hair out in the front, but that's okay. You really can't tell, tell, tell. You know, you kind of tell, but you can't really tell. Look at the edges. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me show y'all the back. Hold on. Yeah, throw the hair back there. This is what it looks like in the back. Oh, yes. Look how long this hair is. It looks so pretty. Like I said, this is 24 inches of glorious hair and it looks gorgeous and it was so easy to apply. I know the girls are wearing um, tape-ins and fusions. Oh, what do you call them? <laughs> it is more of a trend to go more of a natural looking route. I'm always gonna be the girly that's going to love a good lace frontal wig, but as summer, spring come around. This is a good option just to throw on, let your scalp breathe a little bit. I love it. Ah, it's so pretty and silky. Like, what are we talking about? Girl, that was quick and painless. Hold on, let's put on some lip gloss because it's looking real pale over here. This hair isn't super thick. It's more like a natural density. So if you like really, really thick, straight hair, please keep that in mind. Somebody take me out. I gotta call my husband and tell him to take me to lunch. I wanna say thank you to Beauty Forever for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you would like to purchase this wig, I do have a coupon code. If you would like $20 off your wig purchase, you can use the coupon code BEAUTYTB. That is beauty. YTB for $20 off. Get some money off, sis. I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Quick, easy, and painless. Bye.